I dance because I could not imagine my life without dance. I really do feel like dance is like breathing. It is mine and I am mine. My name is Ana Maria. I am a movement artivist. I am a professor. I am a choreographer. I am a mother. And I am a salsera. I do call myself an artivist. And what that means is someone who is engaged in both art, but also art as a mechanism for social change. So I think about art as not just something to enjoy and love and appreciate, but really that art has the capacity to shift worlds, to redefine narratives, to have us imagine new possibilities for the future. Honestly, I don't think I've had any more of a life-changing experience than being in a class with Ana Maria. She came with such a vibrant energy from wanting to build community, and that shift was so visible. Contra tiempo means against time, directly translated in Spanish. It also means the offbeat, or the beat that's between the beats. It is a... a company, it's a community, it's a family. I founded it in almost two decades ago. It grew out of my thesis work and now has really become a collective of artists that I create worlds with. Azúcar is the most recent work. One of the things that I was really interested in, in working with Azúcar was having a way to look back at our history but also simultaneously imagine a new future moving forward, specifically thinking about colonization, thinking about the ways in which the sugar industry specifically has shown up and the ways in which the United States became a country, right? So Azúcar as a piece really is about ancestry, it's about looking back, it's about dealing with the messiness of where we come from and who we are as a people, and also powerfully moving forward as a people. Like you think of oftentimes when you think about professors' research, it's, it's the written word as seen as, as legitimate research. And there is a way that as an artist, my research is multifaceted, right? It's, it is multidimensional. Uh, some of it absolutely is connected to writing, but there's a huge part of it that is really connected to building community and embodied practice. It's not just about making art, but it's about how art can really transform the way that we work together and relate to one another.